Hi, welcome back to Girl Talk. We're filming today in Monroe. We're at Monroe Furniture Center talking appliances later in the show. Boy, this is a show about something that we all need mm -hmm. and experience sometime in our lives. We were talking before we got started here about, think about your bus driver or any bus driver you've had. Mm -hmm. There's got to be one that stands out. We all have bus driver memories. So this is exciting to talk a little bit about a company that's been around for 80 years. Wow. Very impressive. Congratulations. This is Michael Lowry, the Assistant Safety Director for Cobison Buses. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, it's good to be here. Thank you. Um, boy, we're a little bit teary-eyed from <laughs> our conversation <laughs> before we started because you were telling us a really sweet story uh, about being a bus driver. But let's talk big picture. Tell us about Cobison Buses. Cobison Buses, uh, we're the largest family-operated school bus transportation company in Wisconsin. Uh, and we've been uh, we've been around for 80 years. It started in 1938. Uh, Goldie Elwood Cobasson started transporting high school students back and front, back and forth from Kirkana High School. And we've started with there and grown to now. We have over 900 dedicated team members uh, that maintain and operate a fleet of luxury motor coaches, school buses, special needs and trip transits. Uh, we have 21 locations throughout Wisconsin, and we service 28 school districts currently. Wow, that's so pretty a big lot. operation. Covering a lot of ground. Yeah. So over those 80 years, I'm sure there's been a lot of changes <laughs> just in technology. I mean, if you think about it in that way, sure. what have what have you seen? Oh, with your just time about there? everything you can imagine has changed over 80 years. Yeah. A lot of it has to do with people. Uh, you know, we've seen a lot of milestones over those 80 years. In the 60s, we started mm -hmm. hiring women for bus drivers. Uh, pretty innovative and yeah. progressive uh, for that time. And then in the 70s, uh, James Cobuston started uh, a professional driver's training course. And he actually became a certified driving instructor and taught at Fox Valley Tech. And this was all before that was all required. Now all bus drivers have to have a commercial driver's license and go through a medical exam hmm. just to do that. And then. You know, technology-wise, everything <laughs> has changed. I mean, everyone remembers the school bus big and yellow. Yeah. It wasn't always that way. As a matter of fact, Goldie's first bus was red, white, and blue. Oh, it, funny. It didn't start, to, you know, the school bus yellow didn't actually get implemented in the industry until the 1970s. Wow. Who knew? So let's keep, keep on with the school bus topic and the fact that you're assistant safety mm -hmm. director. Talk to us about safety, especially with school buses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, school bus is, a, is actually the safest form of transportation in the, in the U.S. Wow. Children are, are 70 times more likely to arrive to school safe if they ride a bus than they are if they go in a car. Is that Interesting. So? Yeah, you know, and every, you know, there's so many things that make a school bus safe. Mm -hmm. You know, the size, the height, the, the color, everything's mm -hmm. got flashing lights. Mm -hmm. uh, we got mirrors all over the place, these automated stop sign mm -hmm. arms that come out. But a lot of it has to do with training. A, lot a of professional it has to do driver. With, it always <laughs> has to do with the professional driver. Yeah, you know, that's, that's our key. number one safety feature on any school bus is the right. professional driver. And what kind of training are they going through? Is it, it's pretty extensive then. It is extensive. Yeah. It takes a while to get a CDL now. Uh, so we offer a comprehensive training program uh, and professional training program to help people get those CDLs. Yeah, you have to go through uh, pass the medical, you have to pass, pass the background, you have to pass uh, your driving records uh, just to get screened just to be in the program. Then once you go through the program, you have all types of different training that you go through in, te in student management. Uh, we work with all, we have a monthly safety meeting uh, where we're always doing training. We work with a lot of different organizations. Uh, the, the school district in Sun Prairie, Rhonda Page, is tremendous as far as coming in and working with us on behavior management. We work with our local fire departments and EST, uh, EMS, EMS teams <laughs> on uh, providing safety for us. And one of the things we actually send all of our, everyone for, as a driver from Cobison actually goes up to Fox Valley Tech and they go through a decision driving course. And part of the course is they soap up a skid pad and the drivers all go out and practice doing <laughs> maneuvers on slippery roads so that we can handle winter in Wisconsin. Wow, that's amazing. It's it's doing donuts. You'll have to check out that little <laughs> video I brought for that. That's hilarious. We are ab about out of time. A quick shout out though, are you hiring? And I did see you have a thousand dollar bonus for sign-ons. That's right, okay. that's right. We are hiring, we've got local uh, locally around here, we have our Broadhead Terminal. We also have DeForest, Lodi, 
Sun Prairie and Baraboo. And we are offering a thousand, up to a thousand dollar bonus for new drivers. And we provide all the training so you can get paid right away uh, while wow. you're going through the training process. And then you actually get to make a difference with kids. So oh, that's the that. part that I love yep. the most. Thank you for sharing a little bit about Cobison with us. We'll have to have you back because I have a feeling there's some more stories <laughs> up your sleeve. You're watching Girl Talk. We're here at Monroe Furniture Center. We'll be back after the break. <laughs>